You are welcome to another session of Sam's Economics uh, Tutorials. And in today's uh, video, um, I will be showing you how to calculate the profit maximization uh, output and also to calculate the average cost and lastly calculate the maximum profit. So we are going to take this question. The question says that the price of a firm's product is 1,700 US dollars and the total cost function is given as total cost equal to 2 cos squared plus 100 plus 50,000 and the first question says that we should calculate the profit maximizing output and the second question that we should calculate the average cost and lastly the maximum uh, profit so to start we need to calculate the, the marginal revenue now that we have had our price to be equal to 1700 and a total cost to be equal to 2 cos squared plus 100 plus 100 cos plus 50,000 so before we continue we need to calculate our marginal revenue and also calculate the total revenue so we'll, we'll start by calculating total revenue total revenue equal to price times quantity so our price has been given so we don't know a cure that's the quantity so what we do now we are going to have a um, total revenue to be equal to 1700 times cure so that gives us a uh, 1700 cure that's our total revenue and we know that the uh, profit is maximized where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost so we need to look for marginal revenue and marginal cost so let's start by looking for marginal revenue and marginal revenue is the derivative of the total re revenue function so we are going to have a derivative of total revenue in respect to quantity and we know that from the power function and we know that from the power function x raised to the power n gives its derivative as n multiplied by x raised to the power n minus 1 so what we are going to do here now we are going to look for the derivative of the total revenue in respect to quantity so what we are going to have as marginal revenue will be equal to now that the uh, the power is 1 so we are just going to have marginal revenue as as 1700 let me explain so we have this as 1700 raised to the power 1 minus 1 so what we are going to have as marginal revenue will be equal to this uh, cure will cancel out so our marginal revenue will be 1700 so let's continue by looking looking for marginal cost so our marginal cost mc is equal to the derivative of total cost in respect to quantity and we know that from the power function x raised to the power n will give rise to n multiplied by x raised to the power n minus 1 so we are going to use this in this uh, total cost function our MC will be equal to now this two will now comes down so we are going to have 2 into 2 cure all that raised to the power 2 minus 1 plus 100 100 uh, cure raised to the power 1 minus 1 so since uh, this uh, 50,000 does not have cure we are going to leave it out so our marginal revenue, our marginal cost, so our marginal cost will be equal to 
this are 2 multiplied by 2 by 2 kyo gives us 4 kyo since this has uh, the power is 1 now and for this one this becomes plus 100 since this uh, power is 1 and this will cancel out so that's a marginal cost so we now look at the, uh, a point where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost so at this point we are going to have a marginal revenue as 1700 to be equal to 4 your plus 100 Okay, plus 100 so we'll collect like them together we're going to have 1 7 minus 100 to be equal to 4 kyo to be equal to 4 kyo so we are going to have um, 1600 to be equal to 4 so since when we uh, take 1700 more when we take a 1700 minus uh, 100 so to look for the coefficient of your that's a uh, 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 profit maximizing output divide both sides by 4 so a uh, a value for your will be equal to 400 400 units that's our profit maximizing output 400 units so now that we have uh, had a value for a uh, profit maximizing output to be equal to 400 units so we are going to continue by looking at the average cost that's our average total cost so to have this what we are going to do we will now have since we have the quantity as four 400 units we will now substitute in this equation so to have a, a b now average cost will be equal to total cost of uh, quantity so we are going to take um, uh, I'm going to substitute the, the value of quantity in this uh, total cost function so we are going to have uh, 2 into 400 all that squared plus 100 multiplied by 400 plus 50,000 So when we all that divided by 400 units, that is to get the average cost. So when we take uh, 400 squared, then we multiply that by by two. That gives us 300, 320,000 plus when we take out 100, 100 multiplied by 400 we are going to have uh, 40,000 all that plus 50,000 divided by 400 so we are going to have uh, 410,000 divided by 400 so our average cost is equal to 1025 so now that we have had our uh, profit maximizing output and also calculated the value of our average cost so let's look for the uh, maximum profit 
and we know that uh, we are not going to function C. So we and we know that profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. cost. So let's calculate profit. And we know that profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. So let's continue. And we know that total revenue is equal to price times quantity. And our quantity was given as 400 units. So we take a price of 1,700 multiplied by 400. This gives us 680,000. And from here, we take a total cost, which sums up to give us uh, 410,000, which we calculated in a previous question. So, profit. So, a profit is equal to 680,000 minus a total cost of 410,000. Our profit will give us two hundred and seventy thousand. So that's it. Um, uh, that's it for this question on profit maximization. And in a second video, I will do a video that asks us that will ask us to calculate a uh, profit uh, profit maximizing price and other variables. So uh, this is our first video on profit maximization. And see you in our next uh, video still on uh, profit maximization.